This is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about value changes property over a form control in reactive forms. To know more about reactive forms and the different types of methods used on the reactive forms, please watch my previous videos. <coughs> Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. So here I have created a project with app.component.html, app.component.ts as a default files. Here, what we will try to understand is, we will try to understand about value changes property over a form control. For that, let me create a form control called as meters control colon form control equal to new form control and let me treat this as a null value this is nothing but a measurement meters and what i want to do is i want to convert these meters control value into a centimeter value so let me give centimeters as a number or you can give number where it is equal to zero by default let me save this and now what i want to do is i want to create a meters control in my html content let me create an input field with a type as number where i can enter the value which is a meters value let me enter place placeholder let me give a placeholder enter meters value let me save this and what i want to do is here let me create a div and inside this div let me show that centimeter what is that centimeter value by default it is zero so let me give centimeters here so meters into centimeters that means what are my meters the meter value can be displayed by using a form control what is my form control the form control is meters control so meters control dot value will give you the value which is a meters and that is converted into my centimeters let me save this and let me give the form control to my input field form control equal to meters control that means this form control has been binded to my input field called as form control let me quickly go into the browser so here z meters into zero that means the centimeters value is zero by default whereas meters control value is null by default so what i want to do is whenever my meters value exists then only i want to show this that means ng if meters control dot value whenever this exists then only I want to show this error message. So here it is empty or null. So I'm not getting that particular message. Let me enter this value now 10 meters into zero. That means the centimeters value was not available or not changing based on this meters control. In this situation, whenever I want to change, whenever I change my input value and I want to do some external operation then we can use a value changes property over our control that means let me go into the constructor and inside the constructor what I want to do is I want to check always the changes happen to my meters control that means this dot meters control dot value changes whenever there is a value change happening i want to subscribe to this observable we will discuss more about observable in the upcoming videos for now observables are the stream of data which can be listen which will be listening to the particular events happening over a control that means i am listening to the value changes of this meters control whenever there is a value change happen to this this subscription will be called and this will be printed in this this logic will be executed so let me give one console console.log of sai so let me check whether this sai is printing or not let me go back and let me try to give some values one one times sai zero two times sai three that means whenever i am changing that form control then automatically that subscription is calling that means this observable is listening to that form control now what i want to do is whenever i get this meters control dot value not equal to null then i want to convert this into centimeters that means this dot centimeters equal to this dot meter control dot 
value which will give the value in, into 100 that means whenever we want to change that meters into centimeters we can use into 100 that means 1 meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters else that means whenever again the meters control value is empty or null then my centimeter should be equivalent to 0 let me save this and now go back let me give 1 that means 1 meter into 100 centimeters and let me give 10 it is 1000 and let me give 2 it is 10,200 that means every meter is getting converted into the centimeters so this statement is not appropriate let me change that statement that means 10 meters into 100 centimeters this is a string whereas this is a value which we are updating always go back now we can see if I am entering 10 10 meters into 100 centimeters 100 100 meters is 10,000 centimeters so this is how we can print our changes or the values now we will understand about value changes once again value changes are something whenever you want to update or do some logic whenever your form control value changes then you can subscribe to that and change any of the values or you can perform any of the logic inside our subscription whenever the value of the form control changes that is how we will be using our form control it is something like a on change event over a input field but we are not using on change event of a javascript instead we are using a subscription or an observable which is given by a form control called as value changes value changes will always trigger whenever that form control value changes let me go back and one demonstrate one more time let me reload this and by default it is empty let me give 10 10 meters into 1000 centimeters let me give 2 and let me remove all again the value is nothing that is how we can use our value changes let me remove this console.log save this hope you like hope you guys understand the explanation hope you like hope you guys like my video and the explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you